Hello, my name's Andrew Morgan Smith, and I have a quick tip for you today about locking things in time on your timeline and logic. So um, come see. So the reason why you want to lock stuff to time code when you're working on a movie could be various different reasons, but usually mine is I'm making some adjustment um, to, to tempo somewhere else in the queue or in the reel, and I'm worried that something's going to change, but there's plenty of reasons. You could even have an audio effect that you want to make sure is two picture, like maybe it's a boom or something that happens on screen that you need to make sure is right, but you need to make sure whenever you change that tempo, you could change it to 80, 100, whatever, that one hit stays exactly where you want it. So the way you do that in Logic, um, the way I do that is I, ooh, thunder. The way I do that is I hit, um, I hit Option K, which brings up the key commands, and then I search Lock. And so this brings up, so Unlock, Simpty Position, and Lock, Simpty Position. And I've set up these key commands, and I've also customized a couple other key commands um if not you just go in here you tell you what what you want it to be and and then whenever once i do that i uh can go over here and boom that changes and if i change the tempo right there um that one thing doesn't change right that one region never changes and that's great for certain things it's great for um it, it's great if you are changing, doing revisions. A lot of times I'll lock the whole back end of a reel to make sure that those don't shift if I'm having to adjust some tempo stuff. It can be very useful. So just a quick tip for you moving forward. All right, thanks. Bye.